Hi guys, Sam here from My My Needle. Back for another floss cube, finally. It has been oh, about five months since I last recorded. Um, I have attempted a couple of times, but life gets in the way, you know how it is. And then with Christmas and family coming from overseas, we've been very, very busy. So while I have a little bit of spare time, I thought I'll come and update you on my stick to progress and what I've been working on. So I have a fair amount to show you. Um, I thought I'll show you with a couple start, I thought we'd start with a couple of FFOs. So my first one is last video I showed you my Lizzie Kate fuzzy string. So I finished it onto this uh, board that hangs in the end of my hallway. This hangs up and I put magnets on it because then I can swap it out. And I swapped it out over Christmas with a new finish I have, an FFO, which is my Lizzie Kate uh, Mary string. So there we go. Oops. So that's it there. Uh, I do need to get some um, stronger magnets for the uh, Mary string for it to go on. So that's two of my FFOs, and I have another one. It is a start and a finish. I started the Country Cottage Needleworks uh, Santa's List, and this is stitched on 16 count Ada, just with DMC that I had. Um, I did omit the candy stripe border for the top and the bottom, and I changed the white, uh, it just had a white line through here and here and I just made it candy striped. I thought that fitted it better for what I wanted. So I finished this with some green rick rack and on the back it's just some Christmas um, Christmas fabric and that just sat on my TV cabinet next to Santa over the Christmas period. So that was very cool. So that's it there. Um, also start and finish since I last seen you, Tiny Modernist, uh, Busy as a Bee, stitched with DMC on 22 count Ada, which is in a yellowy cream colour, so that was very cool, so I'm very pleased with that one. Um, I had a big finish since I last saw you, so I finished my Nora Corbett Fairy. Oh, just move my drink out the way. So here she is here. She stitched on the call for 32 count uh, cream linen. So the last time I saw you, I had her hair stitched, her skin, one wing, and all of her skirt. So I completely finished her since I last saw you. All the cryonic, all the beads. Um, beads in the skirt, beads in the boots and on this one I omitted the corner stitches that they had I don't feel like putting that in so I didn't um, I can't remember if I showed you this one last time but I finished the uh, Little House uh, A Bluebird Sings just with some DMC thread I had that's done on a 16 count wren, this one. And then a freebie from um, Lizzie Kate, which was Hello Spring, DMC from her, uh, the charts from Lizzie Kate blog. Colours are DMC, apart from the purples of Victoria Motto. And it's done on a 32 count um, cream linen. I also finished a chart I got from Etsy, it's like the end of the internet they've done for a while, so they did, it comes in three parts and this is part one, just done with 310 and I stitched it on 16 count Sweet Child of Mine by Colour Cascades, it's an Ada, so I'm going to do the other two parts. Um, I had a big big finish as well, so last time I showed you this I had done the roof, 
the chimney stacks and the framing of the house. This is finished now. This is um, Blackbird's design. Uh, Strawberry Fields Forever. I had the chart on loan. Um, I stitched it on a 28 count Monaco that I used the Priscilla and Chelsea tea coffee dye. And it's a mix of Victoria Motto, Weeks, Gast, DMC, threads I used. So it's all done. Very, very happy with this one. Beautiful. This is a beautiful stitch. Uh, I had another start and finish. Um, hands on designs, put a hat on. So I stitched this on 32 count uh, water lily. I used the DMC uh, threads for it. And I'm gonna do the drum. I just need to put it together now. And this is mine here. I'll just show you up front. So I done mine with DMC. Yeah. So it's all ready to be put together. I just need to get some um, cardstock and some fleece. Um, just so, because you use the cardstock to make the circle and then the fleece to stack up the drum and you do several layers in smaller increments so it's nice and puffy on the top. So I need to get some of that. Um, I have, I'll show you these. I've started the Little House Needleworks monthly series. They came in while I was actually on sick leave, um, which was end of October, beginning of November. I had a week off work after surgery. So in that, that's when I finished the strawberry fields. And these charts came in and I had done November, all on 28 count Monaco, that's tea coffee dyed. So these are the ones where you uh, buy the charts and, or you buy the threads basically and get free charts. So I bought the whole um, monthly series. Although this, um, the seasonal stuff doesn't really pertain to New Zealand because obviously back to front because we're in the southern hemisphere. I'm still stitching them as they are, and I'm going to leave them. It's too much work to rejig. So I finished November in November. I finished December on the 1st of January. So those two there. So these are, yeah, 28 count, one over one I'm doing them. So when you fold them up, they fit in the palm of my hand. That's how tiny they are. And they're December's. December, oh, get it the right way around, and November. So I took the idea to do one over one from Sarah the Stitching Mummy because that's how she's doing her series. So I'm going to get a little easel and some canvases and just wrap them around and each month change them out. I have one last finish, it is a big finish for me. Um, I purchased this chart in 2017 in the UK, in England. I actually started it at my grandparents' house. Um, it's done with DMC. It's done on 16 count Ada, which is part of the kit. It is by the historical sampler company, and it's the house rules. And I finished mine. So it's very really cool. So while this uh, house rules won't hang in my house, I'm actually going to um, finish it and hang it up in our wardrobe. We have a walk-in wardrobe. Just because this means something to me. <coughs> Excuse me. This very much reminds me of my grandparents because that's where I started at their house while I was on holiday, seeing them. But I'm so pleased it's done. And that is all of my finishes. So I have been stitching, I have been doing a lot. I've been working on most of my whips as well. Um, um, I have got a couple of exchanges to show you. 
so this is the um, Instagram bring it up here Instagram cross stitch ATC swap this was um, done by the Aussie crafter Claire for me I actually had it sitting out with all my Christmas decorations over Christmas it was sitting in my smalls bowl very cool and then in New Zealand we done a Christmas ornament swap and this is what my partner stitched okay very cool so I got that I don't know what counter is or anything I don't know where the charts from it's really cool so that was out with all my other stuff just a little pillow Um, I have been buying some fabric. I'm going to attempt to make some project bags. So I thought I'll show you the fabric I got. There's this one here. Very cool. There's the sewing notions. So I am going to attempt to make some project bags. Um, I'm hoping today at least cut them out while everyone's not home. It's just me, myself and I here. My in-laws are going off to the brother-in-law's house for a couple of weeks before they come back and stay with us. This is over from Australia. So they spent two weeks with us and then go two weeks to the other brothers and they'll come back and see us again. Um, this was actually a Christmas gift I got. So I'm hoping to make this into a yeah, project bag as well. Get all my whips out of plastic. Um, I love this one. Christmas cupcakes. And the last lot is I got some green mermaids. Yeah, that's that's my project for today is to cut some project bags out. Um, the last little bit I have to show you is what whips I've been working on currently. Um, I do have a few here. That's why I thought I'd leave it to last because some people don't like your whips. Um, I'm not going to show any haul because I don't remember what I've bought. And it has been a few months so there will be a fair bit. Uh, there'll be no shop update either from me today to make it simple. I am trying to make this a quick video. I know it's been a while, but I I would like to do some other stuff as well. I've got some stuff I need to get done around the house. So we'll do whips and that will be us. Um, I am hoping to get my A into G. My goal this year is to be better with my floss cube. I do want to go back to fortnightly videos if possible. Um, it would be nice even to do quick quick videos uh, weekly I just need to work out a date that suits and I've also started back at the gym so I'm doing that as well because um, we have my partner and I have a big event next year so I need to get my own to G and start sorting stuff out so I'll be spending much of the year planning that and going to the gym for it so if you can put two to do two and two together you'll figure out what's going on um, so yeah, we'll, as I said, we'll do whips and that will be it for me and hopefully I will be back, hopefully not in another five months. Um, so, I have started doing a travel whip. So this comes to work with me every day. So I have started on the January Little House monthly series. And this is my start. So that's the trees and the snowflake. I'll bring it up so you can see it. Once again, 28 count tea coffee dyed Monaco, one over one. It's really cool. And sorry, I will be putting these back as I go because there is a fair bit here. Um, another piece I have been working on is my Dimensions Indian Peacock. Um, so when you saw it last, I had just started down the bottom and done a few stitches here. So now I've finished um, the historical sampler house rules. I've put this on my scroller, more my lap frame, and started that. So 
this is a cover my mom has made. Needle minders are made by myself. There it is there. So that's my, what I've been working on. Done a, about half hour or so on this on Christmas Day, in between everyone being at our house. And the kids going to their mums and back again and things like that. But here's my whip bag. So we'll go through this. I started uh, February a year a year in chalk by hands on design. Mine's done on 16 count black ADA. I'm just using B5200. So what I'm doing is I'm doing all the white and then I'll go back in and do the pink. But I'm gonna omit up the top here. That's one. Um, my next project, I haven't worked on this much recently. Uh, Plum Street Harvest Keeper. Okay. I'm doing my own colours. I don't like the fabric, I think that's what's putting me off. Um, I've got Q-Snap now, so I've been putting it in my Q-Snap and doing a little bit. So, I'll show you all of it, then I'll show you what I've done. So that's it there. So this is done on a 32 count oatmeal box of it. So last time you saw it, I had done the leaves and the acorns around here. Done all of her dress, so what I've done since then, I've done her hat and then gone up around here and finished all the leaves and the acorn. So that's the start of her hat there. So that's it there. See, I keep projects in plastic, plastic slips or plastic bags. So another one I've been working on slowly, I'm up to beating, is Kyungshaw Mill Hill Festival Friends Centre. This is done on perforated paper. Um, I was hoping to have this done for Christmas, but it's, the beading is getting on my wick. So, that's it there. Do like this guy. Mm -hmm. Another piece. This is a new start. I started this um, on the 23rd of December. Barbara Anna Designs. Let it snow. I'm doing it on 32 count water lily and no, that way. that's my start. So I've started the scissors and one motif, the squirrel and the snowflakes. So that is down here. So that's the bottom of the chart there. So I started that. This is all done in DMC. Oh, and I'm, I swapped one out for a Victorian motto because I had it. So if I have, if it calls for a DMC and I have a Victorian motto or another fancy floss equivalent, I swapped them out. I'm trying to use all my stuff. Um, another new start since I saw you last. Lizzie Kate. Less is more. So hate less, love more. Um, I'm hoping to do them all on one big piece. So this is stitched on 32 count uh, water lily, which is what I done my afternoon in London in. And okay, that's my start. So I'm just using whatever I have from my stash that looks very similar. 
and that's a DMC um, variegated. That is 4180. Um, another piece is Lizzie Kate uh, Cat Lessons. Sticking in all the pulled for, which is Weeks and Classic Colour Works, done on 32 count, I'm sorry, 28 count Monaco tea coffee dyed. So since I saw you last, I've put in the top row. So not much. So hardly any on this one. I am going to try and get my whip count down this year. This is not all my whips. This is only stuff I've worked on since I last saw you. So five months worth of stuff. Uh, I worked on Bossy Thread. I found my family in a book. Uh, using the pulled for fabric, which is the 14 count meter. It comes with all the threads these charts do. Sit there. So all I've done since last time is I put in here. Some of it here. And it's not black. Uh, there you go. It's actually blue. Which is really cool. In my fancy plastic bag, project bag. That wasn't me. Uh, another bossy I've been working on is Hush Little Bunny and the 16 count meter it comes in with. So, uh, since the last time I saw you, I have actually started the border because there's a lot of back stitching in that. So, I've actually just started the border and doing all the flowers and stuff down there. And that's it in full there. It'll be cool once it's done. Um, only a few more left. And I have worked on this one, Rainbow Dreams. My third bossy. So I have the three of them on the go. I actually have one more in my stash, but I'm not starting that until I finish these ones. This is done on 14 count Ada. So all I have done since I saw you last is once again put in some hair and some skin. That's all I've done. And then I think I've only got two more to show you. I'm still working on this Country Cottage Needleworks, the needlework shop. It's done on a 32 count linen. I think it was vintage, vintage country mocha or something like that. So last time you saw it, I had started the white on this side and done some of the roof line. So I finished all the white instead of the roof. That's it there. I'm actually color completing on this one. If I pull my finger out my butt, I'm sure I could finish that one pretty quickly. And my new year, new start, because I don't count the little house monthly series, because it's all one. Uh, my mother-in-law actually picked this out and said I should do it. Is hands on design, I say, can you see? I'm going to do the pillow. I'm doing a mix of, once again, threads of whatever I have in my stash. There it is there, that's my start. Um, stitching this actually on 22 count Ada, one over one. So that's a purple there, which is a Victoria Motto, and that's a Cinder Brown, or Cinder Mill Brown, which is a called for thread. Um, when I was picking colours that I didn't have in stock, I wasn't looking at this. I actually looked at this colour. 
And that's how I picked the purple for the submarine. So it's going to be a pretty small pillow, but that's okay. Suits me fine. And I'll just show you the colours. So I mix DMC, Victoria Motto. I've got a classic colour work, so I've got a gentle arts in there. So that's going to be fun. So that's my current whip I'm working on. Right, quick and easy, less than 30 minutes. I'm done, folks. Thank you for coming in and uh, checking in on what I've been doing. And I will hopefully, fingers crossed, see you in a week or so. Bye.